And um, do you watch Palace Confidential? All the time. I have it on subscribe on my YouTube channels. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. She sends it to me. Yeah. <laughs> and I watch it as well. Oh, yeah. that's fab. Good, yeah. Really enjoy it. Excellent. Yeah. And who's and your you favourite? Was... You are, of course. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what he's done for the for the world, really. Right. Environmentally, the Prince's Trust, he uplifts people that who are really, really struggling. We you know, heard a young lady speaking this morning who he, she couldn't get a loan, and through the Prince's Trust, she opened up a hairdressing business. So she's been invited to the Abbey. So, yeah, I think it's, I think they quite, I think the royal family do things so too quietly. Mm. I think they should be more, and Sophie Essex, what she does for vulnerable women throughout, even like she's been to Africa. Uh, just what they do is it's done too quietly and people don't realise how much we get from our royal family really um, and they need to be more public they need to have better they need better PR <laughs> you know it needs to be shouted about what they do so few people and if they have an event and they turn up people get more funding more people turn up for the event so go the royal family <laughs> oh well, lovely to meet you today thank you and is this your first big royal occasion yes it is yeah well, you look amazing, dressed Thank up. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> and who you look forward to seeing? Well, I'm not sure where we'll get a big view from here, because it's not coming down this end, is it? It's uh -huh. no, going down. Going just Hopefully, down. I'll tiptoe and see something. Well, it will be here in Whitehall in yeah. front of us. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Hi, and where have you come from today? And we've travelled um, from Leicester today on the train, yeah. so we got up really early. Um, what time did you have to get up? Um, about quarter to four. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so very early, yes. <laughs> and what are you looking forward to seeing today? Um, I'm looking forward to see um, the coach, um, the king and the queen and the procession, um, just everything really. So just really... Um, Really loving the atmosphere and it was really good atmosphere on the train coming down because everyone had got flags and we were all sharing stories. There was a lady on the train who'd got two flags from the 1930s that had been handed down by her grandfather. So yeah, it was really nice atmosphere. Yeah. And are you disappointed there'll be no Harry and Meghan here? Um, it is a shame. It would have been nice if they could have come, yes, definitely. But yeah. Harry's coming, so I think that's the main thing. He's there for his father. Well, I love your hat. Thank that's great. You, yeah. And you've got your poster ready. Yeah, I've got my, I've got my poster. I've got my I love Charles poster. <laughs> got my flag. How long have you been here? Uh, we've been here since about half six this morning. We got the train at half five. What would you do if you were queen for a day? Oh, I'd ride in the carriage and wear all my jewels. <laughs> Get all the horses out and uh, have all the uh, army men follow me around. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. Right. So, where have you come from today? St Albans. Yeah. We came by train. Did you have to get up very early? Yeah, I set my alarm for 5.15 in the morning. Well, you managed to bag yourself a great position here. Yeah. Are you looking forward to the procession? Yeah, very excited. Yeah. Who are you looking forward to seeing? Um... Charles. Yeah. <laughs> and you, are you, um, what are you particularly looking forward to? I just love seeing all the bands, just like the whole atmosphere. Yeah. And, and I mean, the, all the British pomp and ceremony is just amazing. The, it's the atmosphere, it's a uh, once in a lifetime chance. That's why I wanted to bring my daughter up to see it. You know, uh, let's, let's hope we have another one, but we yeah. don't know, do we? So. <laughs> and what would you do if you were queen for a day? By myself, a dog, and a big house, and maybe try. I donate some money to charities. Very good. Thanks for watching. On Thursdays, don't forget to tune into Palace Confidential, your weekly look at all things royal.